Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are gonna try something new. I'm gonna share a recipe with you guys. I'm gonna be sharing my taco recipe. It's a hit with the in-laws. My husband loves it. So I'm gonna share it with you guys in case gusto niyo matuto how to make tacos at home. <laughs> guys, sorry if, if tawa ko ng tawa sa video na to. It's the first time na I'm shooting with an audience. I'm with my in-laws today. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you love tacos or if you want to learn how to cook tacos at home, then this vlog is for you. Also, here in Davao City, wala masyadong restaurants that serve tacos or kung meron man, quite expensive. So, if you're going to make it at home, for sure it's going to be a lot cheaper. And take note, my COVID, so alam natin lahat, it's a lot safer to eat at home than to eat at restaurants. But hey guys, if you want to eat at restaurants, I'm sure they follow protocols. So I'm just sharing this recipe with you guys. Because na lang nadi tungas Davao City, wala masyadong taco places. Okay, so let's get the show on the road. Taco recipe in three, two, one. I made sure na yung ingredients sa taco recipe na to, you can easily find them sa supermarkets here in the Philippines. Kasi, don't you just hate it pag may nakita kang recipe, tapos you're like, oh my gosh, so kumahanap to, wala naman. <laughs> my sister-in-law agrees with me. There you go. So, nakakainis yun, di ba? Na, oh my gosh, I don't know where to find this ingredient. So, I made sure na super dali hanapin ng mga kailangan for this recipe. So, this vlog is gonna be a short vlog. Let's get started. I'm gonna share the ingredients with you first. Okay, guys. Before, before anything else, I change outfit ako. Super init. Iba ang init sa Pilipinas. Nanunood. Okay, so, ingredients. Let's start with... So, for this recipe, I'm gonna be using ground beef. Ayan, dinid defrost ko na siya. If you wanna use ground chicken, if you wanna use ground pork, go ahead. We prefer ground beef. So, hindi issue if you wanna use ground pork, ground chicken, that's fine. Next, parang naging ano, beauty vlog, no? Imbis na ipakita ko na lang sa inyo yung, yung ingredients. Naging beauty vlog. Ah. So, you're gonna need tomato sauce. It's up to you kung gusto nyo yung may timpla na. You can also use tomato paste if you want. Personally, mas gusto ko to. So, it's up to you guys. You don't want to add too much tomato sauce kasi hindi spaghetti sauce ang ginagawa natin. Tacos. Uh, so, gusto mo na hindi siya dry. And you don't want it na too saucy na magiging soggy ka agad yung taco shell. Next, we love, love sour cream sa aming tacos. So, we all know walang sour cream dito sa Pilipinas. So, I'm gonna teach you how to make sour cream. Super duper simple. You're gonna need this, Nestle cream. Oy! Vlogging! Feeling ano? So, you're gonna need Nestle cream and um, two tablespoons of vinegar. One to two tablespoons, depende sa inyo. I'm gonna teach you how to do it later. And then, spices para flavorful uh, ground beef natin. So, you're gonna need garlic powder. You are gonna need... <laughs> lalay! Lalay! Dali! 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 Lalay! Dali! Dali ka! Mag ka! Dali! Dali! Hi! Say... <laughs> <laughs> so, that's lalay. <laughs> are very, very reliable na kasambahay. <laughs> so, kailangan natin ng garlic powder, kailangan natin ng onion powder, and then, ayaw ng in-laws ko na maanghang, but kung kami ng husband ko, lalagyan namin ng paprika. Pero pwede naman din na hot sauce na lang for us. So, pag dito ako nagluluto sa in-laws ko, walang anything na maanghang because hindi nila gusto ng maanghang. So, it's really up to you guys if gusto niyo anghangan or not. And then you're gonna need black pepper, quanti lang. And then cumin. My distinct taste siya na ina add sa ground beef. So, quanti lang naman na kailangan natin na cumin. And then, so it's up to you kung gusto nyo lagyan ng basil, ng oregano. 
optional ang beef cube. So, first, lasahan nyo muna pag nalagay nyo na lahat ng ingredients. And, kung gusto nyo dagdagan ng beef cube, it's up to you. Optional siya, okay? You are also gonna need onion. Huwag kayo gumamit ng red kasi masyado siyang matapang. So, better to use this. And then, tomatoes. You are gonna need the tomatoes diced para mas madali siyang ilagay sa taco shell. And then, speaking of which, taco shells, syempre iba-iba ang preference natin. Um, my husband and I, we prefer to buy different brands para kasi yung iba mas gusto to, yung iba mas gusto to. Um, I think around 50 pesos for, for 10, ano, uh, 1 dozen. So not bad na, kesa bumili kayo ang alam kong price, huwag natin sabihin ang brand. Parang two tacos, almost 200 pesos ata. <coughs> so ito, 50 pesos lang, 12 taco shells na, ba? So cheaper talaga magluto. And ang super duper 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 important, favorite ko sa tacos, the cheese. Sobrang dami kong nilalagay na cheese sa aking taco shell. Um, you don't have to buy yung melt, parang quick melt. Ang nabili ko actually yung eaten melt. Mistake ko lang to. Regular cheese is fine. Actually, mas gusto ko nga yun. Mistake ko lang to. Hindi ko kasi tinignan. Parang nung nakita ko to, kinuha ko na lang bigla. Not knowing na eaten melt pala to. But hey, if that's your preference, go for it. Okay, so I think, I think that's about it. We are gonna start cooking. Let's go! Okay, for the sour cream, nilagay ko siya sa isang container na may cover because we wanna put it in the fridge later. And then, pag hindi niyo siya kinover, tas nilagay natin siya ng vinegar, baka mga may vinegar ang inyong fridge. So, make sure may cover yung sour cream nyo. Um, so, we are gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. One half teaspoon lang ang gamit ko. If you want, you can add one teaspoon. And then, super duper konting paprika. And then, we are gonna add... Alam niyo yung takip ng vinegar nyo? <laughs> Yun lang gamitin nyo. You just add two. Ay, ano ba? Okay. Ay, nako. Ayan. So, just add two. Ito lang gamit ko, yung takip ng vinegar. <laughs> okay. Any vinegar, guys, pwede kayong gumamit ng pinakurat. No brand in particular, you can use any vinegar na gusto nyo. And then, haluin lang natin. And that's it, guys. Yan na ang ating sour cream. Tinuro yun sa akin ng aking foodie sister. You can follow her on Instagram at um, Hungry Khaleesi. Okay, that's it. Cover natin. And let's put it inside the fridge. Next! Dice lang natin siya. Then, just cover it and put it in the fridge. Woohoo! Okay, done dicing the tomatoes. So, ang ginawa ko, pinagsama ko na lang yung onions and tomatoes in one container. Actually, optional to kung ayaw nyo ng, lalo na, maiba kasi na ayaw ng um, onions. So, kung ayaw nyo ng onions sa tacos nyo, that's fine. Yan ang maganda pa nagluluto sa bahay. You can cater sa kung ano ang gusto ng family, right? Okay, so, see, ang ganda ko. Yan. Tada! And then, lagay natin sa fridge ulit. Next, cheese. So, grate lang natin yung cheese. And ta-da! I don't know about you guys, but for me, the more cheese, the better! Okay, so, ito, I super duper 
love this. I got this from, if you are from Davao City, I got this sa G Mall department store. And then, cover nyo lang. There you go. Sorry, basa yung kamay kasi naghugas. Alam nyo naman these days, parang kahit anong mahawakan, gusto mong hugas ng kamay. Alright, and then, alagay lang natin siya sa fridge. Okay, now we are cooking the beef. It takes a while para maluto ang beef, so be patient. Isang kilo to ng ground beef. So, of course, if half a kilo lang gusto nyo lutuin, go ahead. Also, hindi na ako nag-add ng oil. Okay, ayan. Paluto na siya. So, we'll add a little bit of salt. Ayan. And pepper. Okay, guys. Luto na ang ating beef. So, we are gonna add our tomato sauce. Ta-da! Then, haluin lang natin. And then, we are gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then, one teaspoon onion powder. And then, one fourth teaspoon of cumin. Guys, this is optional. But ako, mag add ako ng one fourth teaspoon ng oregano. And one fourth teaspoon ng basil leaves. Kung gusto niyo pang dagdaga ng garlic powder or ng onion powder, go ahead, depende yan sa preference niyo. Honestly, nagdagan ko siya ng garlic powder. I love garlic so much. So, again guys, mag sinyo maanghang, lagyan nyo ng chili. It's all up to you. And these are about to taste it. Guys, it's time to taste it. Let's find out if masarap siya. Mmm! It's perfect, guys. So, siguro mga two minutes pa. And then, ready na to. And I'm gonna show you guys kung paano serve yung tacos para super easy for everyone. And how to prepare the perfect taco. Perfect. 